There we go. Bam, okay, like that, and bam. Like the sound of it right there when you just, boom, just open it that, you know. Bam, let's get the acoustics right there. I gotta say, this blade, I gotta tell you, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any blade that is in this shape whatsoever, and I am loving the shape of this blade. Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you are watching Miguel EDC. Today I'm coming back at you with another knife unboxing video. I'm really excited for this. It's been a couple of days here, maybe about a week or so since the last upload in the channel, but I got a full video for you guys. Brand new knife was sent in to me and I'm very, very excited to open this box, show you guys what knife we're talking about here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an unboxing here. Uh, just give you some first impressions and go ahead and kind of give you some first reactions on this guy. So without further ado, let's uh, cut right into it doing the honors is the 8020.5 here and the uh, Demco 8020.5 in the shark's foot blade here so that's my EDC for the day uh, I am guessing the best way to cut through this would be I don't know I'm just gonna make it cut right here on the side hopefully we don't make too much damage to the box inside all right just a little bit more and we should be uh, good to go Throw that to the side here. Right off the bat, we have a Lothar, if I'm pronouncing that right, got a line with the wings here. You know, nice box here. We're looking at a Lothar pocket knife. It is a Chinese knife. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, open it up here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got going on in this guy. <laughs> got a nice pouch going on here. Got some carbon fiber or some carbon fiber impression looking pouch. This is uh, pretty fancy, I'm not gonna lie. It feels nice and, and sturdy and got the nice uh, carbon fiber kind of design going all around, which is pretty neat for, you know, what you get as far as knife pouches these days. Go ahead and unzip this bad boy. Here we go. Moment of truth, we have a nice um, a manual right here, handle with care, all that good stuff. We have uh, a cleaning cloth, which is good. That's always nice when uh, you get that with a knife. This one has the logo right there from the company, right? Nice uh, Lothar with the lion uh, with wings <laughs> logo right there. We have also nice little tool right here, T6, T8, which is pretty neat. Again, uh, knives these days, every knife I've gotten so far, I've never gotten an actual tool to go along with it. So I feel like that's pretty neat that we got that. And of course we have the knife right here. Let me take it out of the pouch, right? First impression, there's uh, definitely uh, substantial weight to this guy. I feel like this guy is, uh, yeah, it's one of those knives that is not going for the lightweight factor. This guy is a uh, yeah, quite significant amount of weight. Uh, I wanna say maybe about one and a half times how much the uh, Demco 8025 here weights. And uh, I mean, we're not doing a full review or anything like that. Just getting some first impressions, but this guy is definitely on the heavy side. Later on, uh, when I do the review in about a couple weeks after I get a chance to EDC this guy. Yeah, you know, we're gonna get all the measurements, weights, uh, and all that good stuff, but I wanna do a quick reaction unboxing. Uh, yeah, this guy's a little bit on the thicker side. I can see that right off the bat. Look at this uh, portion right here. That is very, very thick. Now, this is also another interesting combination. Post metal and uh, my Carter here, or this might be G10. Is there anything in the box that specifies? I wanna say. All right, here we go. We're at, when in doubt, check it out. It is on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. And if you're interested on finding out more, it is a D2 handle. <laughs> it is a D2 steel with a G10 handle. So it is G10 for sure. And it comes in around $40, $40 right there. Again, Amazon, I'll put an affiliate link in the description for you guys if you want to check this guy out. But again, first impressions, we got a nice uh, linear going on here with a skull, which again, is a first for me as well. Uh, most of my knife, if anything, all of my knife knives at this point. Uh, none of them actually has a lanyard of any kind, uh, let alone, I'm not necessarily the skull type, but I can see, you know, someone who really likes the aesthetics, really likes the look of, uh, you know, uh, kind of that skull vibe going on. And, you know, if you're a lanyard uh, lover here, you got a nice one right out of the box right there. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy. It is a flip open here and uh, it looks like a reverse flick as well. Yeah, a little heavy, right? Here we go. Let's uh, kind of make some room here, shall we? Here we go. Bam, okay, like that. I gotta tell you, this is one sexy blade shape right there. Look at that. I like this blade shape a lot. So it's got kind of, it actually has sort of like a harpoon going on right here at the top. So this definitely gives it a harpoon vibe, uh, but you have some sort of like uh, tanto uh, going on right there, which is uh, very, very interesting as well. So it's sort of like a tanto with a little bit of a, a bent belly right here, if you guys can see. So yeah, that is very unique. Don't have anything like that uh, on my arsenal uh, at this point, uh, especially I think the only harpoon 
Whirlpool, and the one that I have is the Civivi Centilia. It says it is a D2 blade, a D2 steel, and it's printed right there, uh, which is pretty nice. This is a satin finish uh, blade going on here, which is good. I am a sucker for satin finish on my blades. And D2 is, uh, again, pretty good average budget uh, steel these days, and it should be pretty, pretty uh, decent for your daily EDC needs. This guy is a liner lock there, so let's go ahead and kind of close it really quick and do that one-handed, and bam, like the sound of it right there when you just, boom, just open it that, you know, bam, let's get the acoustics right there. All right, I do see a thumb hole right here. Hopefully you can re reverse flick it. Bam, look at that. Reverse flick, here we go. Oh, of course, it's gotta be a fail in there somewhere. Boom, there it is. <laughs> All right, one more time. A couple of times here for fair measure. This guy is uh, brand spanking new, so I can see it might need a little bit of breaking in, but. All right, now, there it is. It just, you know, it just requires some, some strength to pull it off. Now, can you do it with your thumb on this end? Sure can, right? You can open it with your thumb right here, just like that, sure can. And again, liner lock, right? It's actually pretty quiet when it locks in place. See, yeah, I kind of do that a couple of times here so you guys can see a little bit closer, right? So very quiet there on the lock. Kind of like the, uh, definitely like this bronze little accent right here on the pivot screw. That's very, very nice right there. And so far from what I can see, it looks like it has T6 everywhere except the pivot screw. So we got T6 for the most part and T8 in the pivot right there. We got a nice backspacer right here. You have exposed uh, liners right here in the back, which I feel like gives it a nice, nice touch right there. This contrast right here of the black G10 with the exposed metal right there, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. And uh, I gotta tell you, let me <laughs> get that action right there. Bam, all right, boom. All right, if you love your flippers, I feel like this guy feels really good to flip. No doubt about that. Let's go for the reverse again. Oh, make sure I don't get my finger stuck right there in the way. Boom, there it is. All right, there's that reverse flick. Bam, definitely pull that up. It might chip away a little bit at your fingernail, but again, it's just first impressions. I have to EDC this guy for a couple of weeks here so I can give you guys a review. I gotta say this in every single unboxing, guys, this is not a review. This is just a first impressions video, right? Just got this knife in the mail. And uh, yeah, this is a nice D2 G10 um, EDC right here, right? Uh, a little bit of the, I wanna say medium to large size, this guy for sure. And it has some, some good weight to it. So not bad, not bad. Again, around the $40 range, right? If you wanna stick around until I do the review, once I get a chance to EDC this guy for a week or two, I'll get back to you guys with a comprehensive review, making sure I share with you all what kind of what the experience has been like and whether I recommend this guy or not. We do have a nice little uh, pocket clip right here, which is good. Very interesting. Uh, let's see. It's only right side on this guy. It is not a reverse clip, something to keep in mind. Uh, it's nice and polished with the logo on there as well. And I mean, yeah, I gotta say this blade, I gotta tell you, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any blade that is in this shape shape whatsoever and I am loving the shape of this blade. The more I look at it, the more I am liking it and it's in the satin finish which is really, really sexy right there. Let's do a quick out of the box sharpness test. I'll do the quick paper cut, the classic paper cutting test here with this guy. Again, brand new out of the box. You guys saw me unbox it. Here we go. Let's see how, did, how it does. Bam. All right. So far so good. So you guys be the judge of that. I am definitely very, very impressed so far. Okay, uh, I think it caught a little bit on that one. Again, it does have an interesting curved shape right there in the belly of that tanto shape blade. Again, half tanto, half harpoon kind of shapes going on. I like that combination. Boom, here it is. I feel like, okay, I have to be very careful with the sharpening chola right here, right? I think I'm moving a little too fast. Yeah, I'll try that again. Make sure I'm catching the paper. Boom, there it is. All right, boom. All right, you guys go ahead and rate it in the comments, right, from one to 10. Out of the box sharpness, of course, uh, one being dull, 10 being the sharpest. This guy does have brass ball bearings. I'm not sure if you guys can see it all that well with the camera. Okay, come on, focus for me. If you don't mind, that would be nice. 
All right, yeah, right there we got some brass uh, ball bearings uh, going on. And yeah, the, the action on this guy is pretty good, pretty good. It does say on Amazon that this guy is assisted opening, but as you can see, I can almost, I think it catches right here. And you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is assisted, right? I compared to my Garshaw leak, of course, which we know is uh, assisted. It does have the speed safe assist. So when you flip it open to a certain point like this, I'll try to show that it would swing open the rest of the way all on its own. Yeah, this is uh, not necessarily in that same ballpark. Some quick stats of this guy. We have 6.2 ounces G10 handle uh, with exposed metal as well. D2 on the blade steel right there. And again, this is a 8.2 inches overall length. 3.5 right there on the blade and uh, 8.2 inches overall. So it is, uh, again, a little bit of a medium to larger knife. All right, here it is in the, or it is in my hand right there. So yeah, quite substantial. There it is next to the AD 20.5 just for some quick reference of course during the review we're going to get more and more into that but there you have it guys uh, again some quick first impressions on this lothar uh lich king right i think that's the official name on this guy the lothar store over in amazon again thank you for sending this over for me to unbox and review in the channel if you guys are interested don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay tuned when i drop the review on this guy hey if you like edc and knives chances are i have a video in the channel that you're going to like i you all kinds of knife and edc gear by the way chances are by the time this video goes in the channel the review for this fleece d2 knife right here this little guy with d2 blade wooden handles chances are this guy is going to be up in the channel in the form of a review video so look out for that thank you guys for hanging out with me i'll catch you all on the next one peace